John chapter 16, verse 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. How many would testify to that? But be of good cheer. I, I, Jesus, I have overcome the world. Can I tell you today that any tribulation, and you may disagree with this, you may say, I don't know if that's what that means. Does it say that Jesus overcame the world? Read it again if you didn't read it with me. Does it say that Jesus overcame the world? Does it say that the world will give you nothing but tribulations? Does that mean that God has already walked before you and he's already defeated and paid for every tribulation, every trial, every problem that you'll ever make and that you'll ever face and that God always has a way? The Bible says that he always gives us a way of escape. I'm glad that the Lord will be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path that when I find myself in my darkest hour that God has still got a road and a path and a plan in front of me and he's holding up that lantern and he's saying, Randy, here is the way. Here is the way. My son 2,000 years ago on a cross hung as a big light on top of a dark hill and the world will never see darkness until the Holy Spirit is gone. I'm thankful today for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I'm thankful that the Holy Spirit is still perfecting us. That we are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. Thankful for that today.